Nice. Five. Four, there you go. Hey guys, Dr. Mike here, Oak Brook Medical Group, Oak Brook, Illinois. I am here with Mr. Jose, our okay. resident massage therapist here, and then Miss Brenda, who if you've been following our channel, watching our videos, you saw a video on her earlier here this past month or so talking about her sleep and getting better with the adjustments. Well, today we're going to give you guys a little bit of treat and show you some of the different services that we do here in the office. One of them is massage therapy in Graston. So Jose is going to actually be working on Miss Brenda's knee here for a little bit. And I just want to walk through you guys here and tell you what we're doing, why we're doing it, right? So every one of our patients that comes through here is going to get some form of soft tissue treatment here. Most of the time it's Jose doing the manual therapy with his hands, massage therapy here. Sometimes it's Graston. We're going to show you a little bit of both here today. Um, the main reason we're doing these things, whether it is the Graston technique or it is massage therapy, is because it's going to do a couple things. One, it's going to help realign the muscle fibers, right? Obviously, massage always feels good on that soft tissue, so it helps our patients feel better. But with realigning the muscle fibers and then increasing blood flow to that area, we really get to help promote that healing process faster. So now that's a benefit too, right? Patient gets off the table feeling a little bit better to go through the rest of their day, but in general, we're actually increasing that healing process so that they get better faster overall and we don't cause a re-injury to that area, right? So you can see with working on her knee, he's gonna find work around, he's gonna find some of those trigger point areas. And this is extremely helpful too because with those trigger point injections that we do with our patients, they're gonna be able to find those. Jose can pinpoint them too working with that nurse practitioner and showing exactly where we need to help to calm down in that area. How are we doing down there? Good? All right. Pressure's good. And again, you guys got to remember too, when we work in an area, so obviously we're focusing on the knee right now, but Jose does this on the neck, mid-back, low back, all of those areas. Um, it really just depends on where, you know, the most problematic area is for our patients. So that's more of the soft tissue there. Jose's going to come in with the Graston tools, work nice and light. So we show you this. It's one of those things that when you see these tools, all right, some patients right away, they see them and wonder, okay, what are you doing with these? Um, but you'll see when he works with it. It's very small strokes onto the muscle. He uses the lotion so that it glides nice and easy. And when you do this, Basically what you're doing is, again, increasing that blood flow to the area. You'll notice on some patients, whether you get this done or not, that when he hits certain areas, we start going, it gets really red, right? So that's gonna that's showing us that that's the problematic area. The blood flow has increased there. The body's trying to heal that area. But as you can see, stroke wise, that's all it is. Nice and small, little. He's going to work around that entire joint just helping promote that healing process, loosening up the muscles, getting things to feel better. Because then from here, Brennan's gonna go back over to the rehab side of it and she's gonna start really working on those muscles, getting some more balanced stuff in, strengthening things and stretches, just so that we can heal this tissue and get her feeling better for the long term. All right guys, Dr. Mike here, back again with Brenda. So she got done with the working with Jose, did her massage therapy, we did some grassing on that knee. She went straight to the rehab side of things, worked on that back, worked on the knee, got everything nice and strong. So now we're gonna walk through her adjustment again. So we always start with some flexion distraction here. So now I'm gonna focus on that low back for right now, opening up those disc spaces. Uh, like you saw earlier, we did work on her knee for the soft tissue wise, and that's fine. We'll do a light little adjustment on that knee occasionally for her, but we don't do it every single time. Uh, so we're gonna focus on this back right now, make sure everything else is doing great with her. So again, the whole purpose of this is we're blocking that vertebrae, pumping that disc, really opening up that space. Patients usually just love this. Good. Was Jose nice to you over there? Yes. Yes, good. You hesitated. Relax. That's true. You do get nice and relaxed after you leave that table. All right, so open up those disc spaces. We'll bring this table in. 
And again, if you guys have been following us long enough, you've watched the videos multiple ways always we can adjust the spine. Um, but we're going to do what's best for the patient, right? So some patients really like the big pushing, clicking, popping, cracking. Some patients, especially for the low back, like the drops on the table. So table pops up. Focusing right on that L5. So now here's the deal. Some patients usually ask me, what's the difference? Like I do that side posture and I feel a big pop, but the drops, you don't usually feel something, right? The whole purpose of the drop table is that it lets the patient fall faster so that we can get increased pressure without me really pushing down on it, right? Force equals mass times acceleration. So it does the same thing, accomplishes the same thing, but it's just easier on the patient to push that way, that's all. All right, moving up to that mid back for you. Big breath in. All the way out. Nice. Good. On your back, please. And then moving up into that cervical spine from Brenda. Obviously, guys, you know, she's still sleeping great, doing, th doing better. Pain's going down. Now we got to keep it that way. Drop that shoulder. There you go. Good. Excellent. Come on one up. All right. We'll have you stand on up there. So if you guys are looking for that massage, looking for some grass, and have those soft tissue injuries that need to be addressed like Brenda does here, give us a call at that number below. If you're watching on YouTube, hit that notification bell, like, follow page, Facebook, Instagram, like, and follow. We'll catch you guys on the next video.